Look what came in the mail. What's up guys, it's Kevin here. Yes, I am now lounging in my room. Today, I'm so excited to unbox and review the Gaston Luga Splash Mini in black. Honestly, I think I'm one of the only few people in the whole of YouTube and IG who has actually reviewed this bag because for the life of me, I just could not find any review or info about it when I was making a decision for this bag. So I thought, why not I be the first? So Gaston Luga, as some of you may know, is a Swedish branch that does really minimalistic yet functional and good looking bags. They're also known for using sustainable and eco-friendly materials and I thought, hmm, probably it's time I try out one of their bags. They are primarily known for their splash bags, which you can see a lot of people wearing, it comes in many colours, but I was focusing on the mini one right here. You can see it's just so cute and petite. For me personally, I always like smaller bags because I find that it's lighter and I also don't like how the height of the bag, if it's too long, it kind of like blocks my back, if you know what I mean, so I don't like it to be too long. So let's unbox and review. You can tell it's not really big. Oh, a bit of work here. Voila, all right. Oh, wow. There you have it, guys. This is it. Splash Mini in black. 6.5 liter capacity. I'll let you guys take a look at it in the montage right here. What a good looking bag, right? I actually pretty like how the finishing is. Like feeling it is really smooth and it has a nice soft matte feeling. The material is 100% recycled nylon and also this is 100% recycled polyvester for the vertical stripes. So the dimension of this bag is not very big since it's a mini, but interesting fact, there's actually a little fasten clip here. You can see that when you actually fasten it, the bag becomes narrower and slimmer to give you a nice thick profile. And if you have many things in the bag, like if you're traveling, you can unfasten it and this will expand the bag's capacity, especially on both sides. So like me, if you're always traveling with a lot of things, I think that's something that I think I would appreciate there are two side little pockets over here. You can see one on the left and right. It's not very big actually. Probably you could slip in like a mini umbrella or like sunglasses. My only concern is that there's no fastening to this. So if you're like moving the bag around, your items could slip out. So something to take note of. Probably best not to put valuables in the side pockets. Anyway, if we just remove these little flaps here, there's actually a hidden little pocket right here. Probably if you want to slip in like some documents, you could hide it in here. Put in my whole fist, about this much. Yeah, like maybe like a passport. Now let's unravel the inside of the bag. Grey patchwork, which feels high quality, more like a canvas with a slightly rough texture. And this lining extends all the way in the bag. So first thing first, there's actually a flap at the back of the bag an A5 size dimension which allows you to put probably a notebook or even an iPad mini or any other documents or books you want to go travelling around with and it has this stretchable orange flap to go over to paste on the velcro and this will secure your items next off if you can see here we have a compartment to put your water bottle and this I think is pretty interesting although it's a little small so I'm actually really curious to see whether my water bottle fits inside and lastly there's a zip right here at the back so this is when you want to safeguard more smaller materials or accessories. You can hide it here so that it won't run around. I'm dying to know, how will this bag fit all my items, especially when I'm traveling? So I am going to try and fit in the first thing is the water bottle in. Oh, and it does. It literally slides right in and you can see it fits really snugly and the height is still not too bad. It doesn't jut out. Next off, I have my sunnies, my sunglasses here. Okay, right there. Next off, I have a mini umbrella. Very important because you never know if it rain or shines. I thought of putting it over here in the outer pocket, but I don't think it works well. Probably better to keep it inside. So I'm going to put it right here next to the sunnies. So now I have three main items in a row. Next up, I have a power bank here, which is really important. Yup, I just have a cable dangling around into the back pocket of this sleeve. So 
right here. And at the same time, my other valuables like my phone goes here. And also my wallet, my card holder goes to the back. So yeah, there's pretty nowhere else to go because it's really compact. I'm like trying to shove everything in. So if we turn the back around now here, we have the little pocket. This is where I put some of my necessities here. My lip balm in here. My travel perfume size, I always have one with me to smell good. And hand sanitizer, which I really need all the time. But for this one, I think I'm going to slide it right here to the outside for easy access whenever I need to clean my hands. And for the other side pocket, I'm going to have a pack of tissues because you always need tissues like immediately, spontaneously. So yeah guys, check it out. This is my little setup of my Gaston Luga Mini. I don't think I can even fit anything more in here. It's really like packed. If I try to close it, this fastening here just slides in one. Although I have to say that it's a little bit finicky because it comes out pretty easily. And when one comes out, the other comes out also. So I think they probably can relook into this mechanism. Not really the best. And another thing to note is this little side hole here. It's quite obvious, like people can peer into my bag and see what, what's on the inside. See, they're like little ears sticking out like this. To me, this is not really that safe. What if it rains? I think water could go in. So maybe then I would have to do this. Like, I don't have a choice, right? I have to close it in and fasten the sides. Doesn't really look good. Yeah, I think I, think I would have to open it up. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys how it looks like on me. The straps are actually pretty narrow. They're like really slim. And I was a bit surprised because I'm usually used to wider ones with more padding. But this one is relatively spongy. It's not too painful and it has this little sponge texture. So this gives off like a nice clean look. But you will see that these excess straps are flapping about over here. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's turn behind. I'm trying really hard to stand upright. The back looks like a little bit low on my back and I can't go any lower otherwise it will just drop and I can't pull it too high otherwise it will be like this and this part will be too tight like that. So this is like I think the midpoint for me and when I put all my items, I think it's probably like one kilo or more. Hence, it feels like a little weight of boulder on my back, but that's because it's my fault. But overall, not too bad. If I were to get the bigger one, it would be even heavier. Or you could walk around holding it by the handle, although it's not recommended because the back is just so heavy with all my things. You know, if you're traveling, I don't know if people would do this. Probably not. I think a one sling would do better. Alright guys, that's the end of my video and unboxing review of the Gesson Lugam Splash Mini. I'm actually pretty pleasant with this, although there are some things which I think could be improved. But overall, this will be my new go-to travel bag whenever I'm going out and about. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!